conversion therapy controversy. It's the widely discredited practice of trying to turn gay people straight. Doctors and psychiatrists say it can be dangerous and many families say it's done harm to their children. More than a dozen states have outlawed forms of it, but time after time, Michigan lawmakers have refused to ban it. Seven investigator Ross Jones digs into where it's still happening and why so far our lawmakers have not stopped it. He's always acted and played as a boy. I just kind of had my hands off and just let him be to figure out what he needed to be. Kim Tooley's son Seth was born 18 years ago as a girl. But for as long as he can remember, Seth says he always felt like a boy. I knew I was a boy when I was four, but it wasn't, the word transgender wasn't until I was about 12. Even though he was born a girl, he never went by his given name, Olivia. And because of it, his childhood was filled with bullying was so bad that back in 2013, along with his mom, Seth sought help from his church. Just family counseling. How do I manage a depressed kid? How do I manage, you know, just life right now? It was then that Pastor Jeremy Chasseau of Metro City Church, she says, told her that the problem was her son's sexuality. But the good news was that they could fix it. He started using words like abomination and how um, you can't get into heaven if you're not right with God. That began what the family described as conversion therapy, meetings with church staff about how Seth could choose to be heterosexual and identify as a girl. Telling me that I need to stand Seth in front of the mirror and have her um, in a tight tank top or something and go through every body part and tell her how beautiful every pot body part was. She says they met church leadership repeatedly for weeks until one meeting that Seth had with Pastor Jeremy in private. I burst in the door and they're standing over him with the Bible, like pushed up against his head with the hand in the air, praying and talking about the spirit of homosexuality, this demon. It's terrifying hearing these people giving, doing an exorcism to get a demon out of you. I do not believe it is from God. I do not believe it is healthy. Uh, I do not believe it is good. Pastor Chasseau disagrees with Seth and his mom's characterizations of their meetings, but he acknowledges the goal was to help Seth choose to be heterosexual. There is a pressure on this, these kids to experiment with anything and everything. You're yeah. saying children are being recruited oh, to be I, I, gay. I, I think so. I think so. You know a lot of people uh, are going to find encouraged. that to be ridiculous. Yeah, they will. They will. Virtually every major medical organization in America has disavowed conversion therapy, concluding that not only does it not work, but that it can do great harm, including increasing depression and the risk of suicide. If you have a child uh, and they're struggling with um, stealing or they're struggling with alcohol or maybe depression, you take them to a counselor. You take them to a mental health professional, right? Well, yeah, For, depression, yes. but depression is, is a disease that can be treated. Homosexuality is not a disease. Well, no, I would. I, I don't know if I necessarily call it a disease. I, I don't have to call it anything, uh, but I would say uh, that it can be changed. This is child abuse, effectively. State Senator Mallory McMorrow is trying to make Michigan the 17th state to put a ban on conversion therapy. McMorrow's bill wouldn't stop church leaders from trying to convert minors, but it would prevent licensed mental health providers. Nothing in what conversion therapy is is grounded in science. Um, we know that you are, you are born with the sexual identity that you have and who you gravitate towards. And yet, Michigan lawmakers have chosen repeatedly to not take up any ban at all. Attempts to outlaw the therapy have been made in 2014, 2016, and 2018. They all failed. This new bill was introduced just last week, and there's no sign today the outcome will be any different. Michigan's House and Senate are controlled by Republicans, and when we asked to interview Speaker Lee Chatfield and Majority Leader Mike Shirky about the bill's futures, both declined. You are who you are, and you can't change that. There's nothing wrong with being you. Senator McMorrow's bill currently sits in committee. There is no indication right now if, if it will ever get a vote. Pastor Chasseau stresses that anyone, including gay men, women, and children, are welcome at his church, even though he doesn't approve of their lifestyle. I mean, this is such a big topic right now. We saw Russell Crowe in a movie about it. They were talking about it at one of the a big music award shows last night. It's a big conversation, which is why a number of states have recently moved to ban it. Uh, right now, there is not any strong indication that Michigan would join the 16 that already have. So the pastor's comments 
many would view as controversial. You say you have more with him. Yeah, we talked to him for almost an hour. We couldn't obviously show you all of that, but we have uh, condensed uh, some of it and put it online at WXYZ.com. I encourage folks to watch that right now. I'm sure a lot of people will go check it out. Thank you so much, Ross, as always.